What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jim 97. We're back for another video. Anyhow, uh, there's something wrong with my taillights on my truck, and I got my friend, my, one of my best friends, Ed, is working on it right now. So, if you guys know the Frontline dealership on 610, I don't think you, uh, they're no longer serviced there. Maybe, maybe they work on trucks there, but they don't sell parts there. So, if you need parts on your truck for your Frontliner, Columbia, uh, Cascadia, what's your start parts and all that. They no longer do that no more. So, I'm at the new location. It's right here for Highway 90 and Purple sea, Sage. Highway 90 and Purple Sage. So, here is a Fatliner dealership. Nice parts, okay? And at the low, old location, you usually pull a ticket number and then when they call your number, you'll come, you go up to the, to the desk and the service you to get your parts number, right? Well, here they do it totally different now. So let me put the camera around. So that's where you check in at. Okay, drive in. It's a nice facility, brand new. They had a concert here. Um, they had a concert here uh, a few months back, but they gave me free tickets and I didn't go. Okay, so it's a very nice place, and they got trucks everywhere. They do service trucks here. Okay, give you an idea. And I'll give you guys give a tour inside. So in order to get your number, just to have your numbers called, you have to do a service uh, number on a uh, touchpad. So as you can see, it's very different now. Bigger, more convenient for drivers. They sell head racks, so if you need a head rack here. <clears throat> And this is where you get your number. So right here, you gotta sign in right there. And then you, English, Spanish, select the individual, say it's English. You put, you don't have a customer number, so you put here, don't have a number. And then you enter your company name, whatever information, okay? Pretty simple, and they'll call you. So once you get your number here, your number we post on the screen. So that was 10 E1040. Close, 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 close. That was E1037. E1040. That's being serviced now. Okay. It's really nice. This set of chairs here. It's very comfy for more drivers to chill out to wait for the number to be called. Um, they got nice chairs here. They got a nice showroom. There's a one of the new Frontline Cascadias over there. Okay, so you can check it out. So, see, it's a whole new facility. <clears throat> this is what it, it is closed now, but the parts store is open 24 hours. Okay, so here's the new Frontline Cascadia, <clears throat> the new one. Okay, just give you guys an idea. So I'm looking for something like this, a bar like that, bar like that, and I'm gonna try to find this. Okay, I need that. So I'm gonna try to get those now. I'm gonna put the camera around real quick. So my tail lights, to maintain my tail lights on my truck, it's a pain in the ass. Like every Two months is always an issue. Light's not working. The signal light is not working. I'm to fix that, fix this. Uh, wire is getting corroded. It's just one thing I'm, I'm just getting tired of it. Hold on a second. Sorry, I had a phone call. All right, so yeah, it's always wrong when I tell it. You know, wires getting corroded, you know, humidity, water. Um, when it goes to the electric wires, it does not do well. And when the wires are getting corroded, the lights don't function correctly. So to maintain these tail lights on your truck, these nice tail lights you have in your truck, you gotta maintain them. Wires go bad, they get corroded, you gotta cut them off, run new wires. I'm tired of it. I've been done with the past five years. I'm, well, five and a half years, I'm tired. I'm going back to stock. Less lights, less things to worry about, less maintenance. You know, I only need to spend money the way I need to, you know what I'm saying? They're nice, but hmm, I'm going back to stock. So let me flip the camera around. Okay, as you can see, it's a nice couch. You can sit and chill. 
one thing I like about this facility here is they got a uh, a place to buy lunch. So if you want hot food or something like that, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, check that out. They got a pizza, pizza menu. They got a salad menu. Nah, they're closed now. Um, they got a burger menu, sandwich menu, kids side menu, beverages and shake. Okay. So they got, you know, they're serving hot food now over here. So if you're hungry, you come over here and eat while you're waiting to you get your part or get in line. They got a deli, deli subs, build your own subs for $6, build your own breakfast sandwich, side bread, side and sides and beverages. Okay. So they, you know, you know, they're not playing around. Okay, they're not playing around. You know, they got some right here for you to look. Okay. And then over here, we got your dining room here where you can eat and wait to be name called. And over here, you got your service of your trucks. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So it's pretty nifty. And over here, I don't know what this is. This is probably a service center. Okay. And they got a pinball machine here. So if you want to play some games and stuff like that, they got air hockey. They got some video games you can play around with. Okay. They got a foosball table game for you to play around with. Okay. They got an ATM here. Okay, they got an 18 around here, and they got a kind of like a movie theater here. This person's sleeping here now. But they got a here. They got a what's this? A movie theater? Oh, yeah, they got a movie theater here. Look at that. They got a movie theater here. How cool is that? Okay. They got bathrooms here as well. Men, women, okay. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let me get the ATM machine right here. It's ATM machine. So that's a pretty, good, pretty cool tool, you know. So finally I had to step up the game to help drivers out, you know. Yeah, hot food, game room, movie theater, you name it, they got it, you know. All right, guys, just gonna give you show you about the new frontline place here. You get your parts. Peace. Later. A few moments later, you guys, we're back. We fixed the issue, so this is what it looks like now. Okay, so I don't know. There's a spring in there that's cutting the wire. Okay, there's a spring in there that's cutting this wire here, and this light here doesn't work. Okay, so I don't drill a hole here, bypass it to make it work. So I've been running like this for this past week. This thing here is getting worse. This thing here is bouncing up and down even more. And you look at that. It's bending up bad. This side too. So, and it's scraping my mud flap. So, I had comments to Lee, got what stuff that I need, and he said okay, but, I don't have time to go to the shop to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I bought some, I went to the chrome shop near where I park at, bought me some hangers. So I'm gonna place this one here, I wanna place that one there. The middle I'm gonna leave alone. I'll let Mr. Leah do that, cause it has lights with reverse lights and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this off, and let to tape it, okay? And probably put a bag over it or something like and then uh, shove it back in the hole, and then cover this hole with, with the electric tape. Just to get by until I have time and a little more money so I can do that centerpiece. Cause I'm going back to, um, I'm going back to stock. I'm not doing this no more. I'm tired. I'm tired of corroding wires. I'm tired of lights not working. I'm tired of the signals not working. Uh, nighttime driving lights not working. I'm tired. I'm really tired of it. Okay, so I'm going back to stock. So I'm gonna do that one and this one today. It's just later. A few moments later. All right, what's up guys? We're back. Okay, it's done. Let's put the camera around. Here we go. It's gonna be about probably like 45 minutes. 
not long. Okay, use uh, old muff flaps and the re uh, DOT reflectors. You gotta have this. If you don't have this, they'll um, give you a ticket for that. <clears throat> oh, uh, not just a warning. Well, uh, yeah, a warning citation, but you gotta have it. Okay. Pretty simple install. Nothing crazy. Okay. Looking good. And I'll also go ahead and grease my fifth wheel. So I grease my fifth wheel too as well. Okay. So we're good there. Here are the old ones. I'm just going to take the lights out and throw away the rest. Just take the lights and throw away the rest. So yeah, that's the old ones. And what I did is uh, cut the wire and I, and I use duct tape, uh, not duct tape, electric tape, and cover one each each individual wire, like half moon, and then wrap the whole thing. And I shoved it back inside. And then I put electric tape to cover the hole. See? So this right here. There you go. It'll hold. Same thing on this side. See? The tape. But the lights in the middle function just the way it's supposed to be. Now when I have money and they got time during during the week. I want to get rid of this back, uh, this box right here, and put stock lights on there. I'm done with the lights back here. I'm not doing any more fancy. It's just a hassle. I've been doing it for the past four and a half years. Lights, corroded wires. Lights not working. Lights not blinking. No left turn. No right turn. You know, no reverse light working. I'm just tired. You know, of all these lights. Yes, it looks nice and makes your truck stand out. You know, and having lights like this over here, like over here, having these lights here on the side helps a lot. So if I want to make a left turn signal, the lights right here are bright enough to show the people on the blind side here to, to let me over, you know. But, man, as you can see, here's the pressure side. Look at this. It's all jacked up, you know. And uh, Man, I'm just tired of it, man. I'm just tired of taking care of them, tired of maintaining them. I'm just tired. I just wanna let it go. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So far I'm happy with it. And we just put the stock OEM. I'll put some pulling halos, but the stock OEM lights on the bottom. You remove this box, get rid of this box, and that's it. You know? Hell yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs like, hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell. I'll try to can try to continue making this kind of type of content as I keep it going as I can as much as I will. I'm surprised that I'm back doing YouTube videos again. So, yeah. So, yeah. Just trying to keep going. You know, less maze on the truck. You know, I, don't, I, I didn't have to spend money to maintain these lights. It costs me money, you know. And, you know, buying wires, buying the, uh, the, the, the pigtail wiring harness, the back of the light, you know, buying more feet of wire because the wire got corroded. You got to cut it off and add new wire and, you gotta solder it and this and that. It's just, man, it's just a headache, dude. I'm, I'm just tired, you know? I'm just tired of it. It's cool, it looks nice and everything, but man, to maintain these backlights, ain't no joke, man. That's why I see a lot of trucks that have all these lights, this neon glow and all that stuff, and having this lollipop lights on the side of the mirror and all that stuff to help you signal, and that way it, it does help, you know? It does make the truck look nice, but to, but to maintain it, the light goes out, you had to replace it because if DOT can be really ass about it, hey, your lighted pop light doesn't work, it didn't blink anymore, I'm gonna write your right warning citation on that. Oh, your left your left mud flap, it stopped blinking left, okay? I gotta write a citation for it. You know, things like that in general, you know? I have truck drivers that I've seen, they have, you know, lights right here, like small DOT lights right here to put over here on the side, okay? And the little small lights, those light goes out, that's a DOT violation, like a warning citation. People put lollipops right here, so you can signal, so people can see right here. And and it, and when this thing turns signal left, this lollipop right here also turns left as well. You know, like amber light. That goes out, and a DOT sees that, a warning citation there. Every time there's a light, okay? Every time there's a light that's on there and it's not working, they write you up a, a warning citation ticket for that, okay? Every single damn time. Let me give you another example. You see those marker lights up there? If one of those lights don't work, that's a warning citation, okay? Plain and simple, plain and simple. If one of those lights up there stop working, that's a warning citation. And I'm telling you, DOT can be a pain in your ass, and they can be a, sort of a kind of a friend. 
Most cases, they're asses, okay? They'll get you for anything. You're missing a mud flap. You don't have reflector DOT tape on your mud flap, like, you know, right here. If you don't have that, that's a warning citation, you know, this right here, okay? You don't have that, warning citation. Little things like that. And we're over here working our ass off, trying to pass the DOT inspection and, you know, have a good name for ourselves. And we're working in here, making our money, and they do that. Just tire of it, you know? Plus, it costs money to maintain your truck. Your tires, oil change, shocks, airbags goes out, airbag leak, airline leaks. You got to replace that or fix that. It's just one thing or another, you know? So I'm trying to reduce maintenance costs. And rather have that money in my pocket, I can use that money for something else, like vacation or something. You know what I mean? Or or one of my hobbies. You know what I mean? That's it, guys. All right, guys. Peace. I'm out. Catch you next time.